We got dozens and dozens of these gigantic whales preserved perfectly intact. There's no shark bites on this. The whale died and dropped on the ocean floor. It's of density that's unrivaled anywhere else in the mm. world. We had a week to scan this. So, you know, it was 27 feet long. That was a, we spent night and day. 3D was the only way to actually capture that information. We are recreating the whale fossil discovered in South America here at 3D Systems. The original fossil was 20 feet by 8 feet. We are going to create that in 40 tiles uh, and assemble those at the Smithsonian Hall. Like any other 3D printer, we're building in thin layers, one layer at a time. This one is a little bit different in that it builds using a loose powder. We spread a thin layer of powder and then we selectively apply a binder uh, to create the solid of the part. Once the layer is finished, we lower it by one layer of thickness, spread a new layer of powder, and repeat that layer by layer until the part is complete. We have to allow it to sit to cure for a few hours, and then we can vacuum away the loose powder and retrieve the tile that we've built. One last step, we do apply a layer of a coat of epoxy to strengthen the part. One of the beautiful things about this is it's artistically beautiful in terms of how it's boxed out with the complexity inside it. It's got this digital story to it and it's scientific evidence, like it's actual data. It's a lot of things together and that's what's kind of so neat about it is that it's emblematic of many, many different things that are like really cutting edge. This is what we can do, we broadly like in museums, but with international collaboration, you have something that's of the UNESCO World Heritage quality. You don't see this happen every day. It looks amazing. The details on that are just tremendous. And that's, uh, you know, I think that's a, in large part a, a tribute to the, to the digital scanning that we did and capturing that level of detail. Yeah, and this is actually not inaccurate in terms of what it looked like. In the, like this is probably one of the cleanest bones we had and that's really what it looked like. 